everybody, welcome to the Boo Review. Today we're gonna be doing a monthly recap. We haven't done these in a while, but we're gonna start try today. The first mm -hmm. thing we'd like to cover is the this thing from South Africa. This is suggested by Kane Thomas Manfield from Facebook and Transformers Rex. This one, this one threw us for a loop. And then minutes later, we found the solution. <laughs> and then minutes later, we found the solution. But uh, it was <laughs> alarming at first. Yeah, it is. It's it's fairly weird. We found this article from MysteriousUniverse.com that says that it's potentially this man right here on Moet Philip Oliphant. Uh, if I knew Afrikaans, I would probably be able to pronounce that better. I apologize. This, it's not even potentially. They said it's him. Well, no, they said, is the Michigan dog man just a Wolverine version of Philip Oliphant? We're not talking about the Michigan dog man. Oh, uh, are we not? What? Are the, what? I, We're talking about the case in South Africa, the one that is Philip Oliphant. I should really read these articles before we start recording. <clears throat> People were like, oh my gosh, what is this thing? And they were uh -huh. like, he's like, hey, it's me, guys. I'll explain in a language the white boys don't understand. Uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, so oh, that's my bad. I guess the Michigan dog man was somebody that they're referring to, saying yeah, that this looks another like case. them. Yeah. yeah. What they're saying is that it's actually this person right here. And it comes from Limpopo, Uppington, Northern Cape. Yep. Oh wait, not from Limpopo, excuse me, uh -huh. but from Uppington, Northern Cape. There's something, isn't there like a little tail thing going on uh, with them? Oh, it's not like any furry in the world ever. It's like the that's furries true. didn't figure out how to attach tails. That's true, that's true. Have I mean, you seen a Felicia cosplay? But you have, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> if you watch the original video, it does look like they're holding like something in their uh, hands, similar to the way uh, Oliphant is here. So yeah, I, I think this is uh, this is this person. And in the comments, a lot of people are saying it's a teenager, <clears throat> Philip, nineteen, says goops around, acts like a dog. There we go. So that was a little disappointing to find out that it, you know, I mean, I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's cool that you know it's just this, this very unique individual that we found. But at the same time, to think that it was some kind of weird dog uh hybrid you know well a, a lot of the horrible. other theories were just that it was a feral human and they cited cases like in particular i remember there being this russian girl that was cited actually a really sad story so we're not going to go into it one of the primary theories was feral human but no this person just likes the dog that's it debunked let's go on to the next one we got this uh strange thing this thing yeah, that we found. Oh well, we didn't find it. Uh, like we like we took this picture on Mars. We went to Mars. And we found this image. I want to know what you guys think. Dude, Mars ain't even real. Okay. <laughs> Don't say that. Okay, we found like this uh, strange looking rover looking thing, this like little space vehicle out on Mars. That's Luke's land speeder. It's Luke's land speeder found this on Mars. This is an old set photo from the Tanzanian desert from A New Hope. No, but this actually is a, a real photo taken by the right. Opportunity. The cameraman uh, for Star Wars. Yeah, the cameraman from Star Wars, or Stanley Kubrick if you're into that uh, type of conspiracy. I think what NASA said was that this was actually like some debris. <laughs> Or they, they thought that it might be some debris from the, from one of their vehicles because they couldn't just explain it away with pareidolia this time. But clearly something there. Maybe it's some NASA stuff or maybe NASA's just lying to us like they like to do all the time, you know? <clears throat> I'm sure Secure Team Tim will have multiple videos on this. It says right here, according to users on Reddit, Opportunity was in fact known to have been taking photographs of its own debris at around the same time that this broke out. So that's probably what this is. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there's oh, aliens yes. on Mars. Maybe there's some Jetsons on Mars. Hopefully. The anonymous hacker known as Reddit. But the next one up here we got is this. Um, I don't know what this is and I can't really find any information it's on pleasant it. pleasant rainstorm. Well, yeah, there's a nice rainstorm, but there's also this, uh, these lights coming through the woods here. I think that maybe it's a spaceship. This was suggested by Alyssa. Is there no sound? There Give actually is. Sound. There is Give sound. Give me some sound. Um, Give me some sound. Give me some it's sound. All, it's all the way up. I don't some know what's going on. Give me some sound. 
There's no sound. I don't know what's going on. There, there is sound to this. Um, <clears throat> is there a sound of a car driving by in the distance that might have a light on it? No, it's definitely not a car. It's way too high to be a car. I, I think this is alien. I'm going to just go ahead and say that it's not fake, that it's an alien. No. It's no. a UFO. I can't look, find any other information about it. Look, it's obviously new. the ground dips in right here, but it looks like it could potentially be a hill right here. There's probably, and it probably goes up kind of high. There's probably a big mm. dip. There's a road well, right there. Okay. Car drives by. It's got some of those xenon lights that are kind of bluish, but with the terrain. Why does it turn rain, off so suddenly, kind of though? And what's up with the sound if you could hear it? But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's stuff in the way. Maybe there's like the trees are thicker. Maybe there's a turn. Who the fuck knows? I can't see what's over there. Mm. Do you, so you think it's a natural. <laughs> Na- as natural a natural man made vehicle. Okay, it does seem to come by the Ford Motor Company. It's going pretty slow though. Because it's be... raining so fucking oh, heavy. That makes sense too, yeah. <laughs> we should cover this instead. This <laughs> this right here? Yeah. Like debunk it? No, no, nah, nah, just show it off. Enjoy. Next up, we got a giant sea creature washes up on Indonesia's Serum Island. Okay, so this weird alien mass has been suggested to us by Green Machine. This looks like a bloated mass of well, I, that's what I think it is because we've seen things like this before. Yeah, here's some other sh- here's some other pictures of various things that have washed up short or bloated, and you can't tell what it is. But the sea is a rough creature. <laughs> After you die in the sea, it's it's it, it'll it'll fuck you up. This one was good, you know, because it was a bit. It's a big old mass of something. Uh, of obviously Nasty. some. But what I really wanted to talk about. It's something that happened back in February. It's this thing right here. What is this? The, apparently, they said this is a bloated whale. Off the coast off of, of Washington. I, I do not believe in this picture. Uh, but apparently, it actually is the bloated underside of a whale. This is what Mr. Watkins and his fellow crew came to the conclusion of, was that it was a whale. Who's Mr. Watkins? Oh, he's a fisherman. If he took the photo and then he was like... He debunked it himself, and I'm assuming that he wasn't trying to pass it off as something paranormal. Probably. This is just cool looking. Like, well, I feel terrible. Look how cool this fucking dead whale looks. Still, it's it's got a it's got a beautiful pattern on the on its backside. People are gonna say this out of context. People he, likes, be like, he likes dead whales. They're gonna be like, that shit ain't paranormal. That shit like, ain't paranormal. Well, show me your paranormal channel. Yeah, Nick. yeah. We'll cover whatever the fuck we want. Let's see. Let's move on to. Cover your mom. Our last uh, picture here is a the strange humanoid figure over Zambia in the cloud. This one threw us for a loop. This was actually suggested by Vu. This is a really dangerous spook. So this showed up over the skies of Zambia. Apparently, freaked a bunch of people out. But that's, except it didn't, except Daily it, Mail. Except it didn't, <laughs> Daily Mail. <laughs> you might as well be the Wall Street fucking journal. We didn't figure it out ourselves. We can't take credit. We watched <laughs> the debunk by Oscar Youngell. Hey. So it's time to play Who is that? Spook. I mean, is it Sean King? Or is it a toad after all? Or is it this kite? I think it's this kite because this is the exact same picture that they used. So yeah, it's the Martin Lester spirit man kite. What is that my I'm going to say it's Oscar Junge. Junge. I'm going to say um, he's Swedish. And I hope I'm right. I hope so too. Maybe um, he's Norwegian. Maybe he's Norwegian. What is that? Is that Swedish, Sven? It's Norwegian. I thought Sven was a Swedish name. It's not. So I don't look Swedish, do I? It's a big difference. Apparently. What's the difference, may I ask? Culture, looks, names, history, food. Okay. Okay. Dan- I'm going to go with Norwegian because that's cool. I think it's because you think it looks like a Viking. <laughs> this is a kite. That's what it is. Yeah, and you yeah. can purchase it for 300 and something US dollars. Mm-hmm. What's that website? IntoTheWind.com. That's a mm-hmm. great name for a kite site. This was almost kind of an excuse because Vu actually suggested it. We're going to cover it and probably just sit here with our thumbs up our asses, not knowing what the hell it is. But uh, enjoying it. But enjoying it at the same time. <laughs> Screw over some, man. You've been jacking me off this video. <laughs> the edge of the screen. Here are the comments suggesting you're homosexual. <laughs> All right. Uh, when my girlfriend gets here, they're going to have to eat shit. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> they're wrong. That's the, that's the consequences. Let's see. It's written in the Bible. It's not written in the Bible. All right. So that's it for these uh, suggestions. And right now we want to give a shout out to the Grizzly Gentleman Beard Company. In the description below, you can find a link <laughs> where you can follow it to his site. And if you purchase any of his fine wares, you're supporting the channel. You are supporting, supporting the, the channel. Supporting the boot. And your beard will be glorious. Oh, we didn't do uh, patron shouts because we've already uh, mentioned everybody. Uh, at this and if point. everybody would watch all the videos, they would know. 
And if you watch all the videos, if you, you, you're a patron that. and you're like, where's my shout out? Uh, check out some past videos. We definitely shouted you out, at least at this point. Um, unless you just started unless, unless after you just did June just the now. 30th. If you, if you did, Time stamp. Uh, yeah, to June 30th. <laughs> if you did it after June 30th. Or if you're doing it right now as you're watching this video, we're not going to mention you. Until the next recording session. Probably not video. Except for you, John. I know you just I know you just did it. I can sense it. That's gonna freak somebody out. Somebody, somebody named John's going, I hope there's some stone dude named some John. Stone, some stone dude named John's like <laughs> How do you know? Oh my god, they're watching me. Uh, and we yeah. are. So it was God and Santa Claus.